Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I know I say that all the time, but you know what? I actually mean it. I want to know how you wonderful, beautiful people are doing today. Leave me a comment down below, please, and let me know. I like to read about it. I like to know how you guys are doing. Leave me the comment, please. Appreciate it. For those of you, first time to the channel, uh, we do three videos a week. Two of those videos are edited cinematic masterpieces. One of them's uncut. Now there was something I really forgot to do with Rip Tam. I'm wearing sunglasses today because it's bright, it's noon. I just got home from the airport from getting back from the Rip Tam and uh, I didn't sleep. We stayed up all night with uh, Garrett and Rob and Bradley and we were going, we were having way too much fun. Karaoke singing, or acapella style. It was, uh, it was a blast. But I, I figured, since I forgot to do an uncut video out there, which would have been the easiest possible video to do out there, no editing whatsoever, I should have, I just, I spaced it. There was so much going on and we are having so much fun, I just, uh, what can I say? I forgot to do it. So I figured I could give you guys like a little sneak peek, a little preview into the next couple videos that you can expect from the Reptarium. But first, I wanted to give a big thank you to my buddy Bradley, who was there with me, who you will see in the videos, uh, for making the trip happen. He, I wouldn't have been able to go there without him, and he probably forgot about this, but I told him, it was kind of like he gave himself a birthday present type of thing. But, so I said, dude, I will be, if I can find my pick, oh, it's right there in the back. You probably forgot, you probably thought I forgot about this, Bradley, didn't you? No, I didn't. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bradley. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you probably thought I forgot about that, buddy. All right, let, let's do a quick recap of the Reptarium, how awesome it was. Of course, it was awesome. Some amazing experiences had uh, got there. Friday night in the Michigan and then woke up in the morning and headed over there. I didn't know that uh, MJ was going to be there until like a couple days before I was going. I had talked to Brian about coming out there maybe a month ago or something and we set a date finally. But that just lifted it to the next level. We ended up coming on the podcast with me. He literally like, he <laughs> got me so lit right before the podcast. I may have mentioned this on the podcast. Part of me doesn't remember. On Brian's podcast, the Checking In podcast. Link in the description if you missed that because that, that was a blast. And I... I was just doing like jump kicks in the back parking lot, like jumping off the side of the wall of the building. I really should have written down some notes for the sun cut. I'm just going to roll with it off the seat of my pants. Okay, three best possible experiences, three experiences that I had there. Uh, jumping in the anaconda enclosure and swimming around with Aries and Ivy. And was just, I'll go into more detail in the next coming videos about how, how just what, like what made that so special. Probably the best snake experience I've ever had in my life to date. And then jumping into the enclosure and swimming in the water with uh, salt and pepper, the alligators. I had a moment there with salt too, where, where I mean, I'll save the exact, what exactly was so special about it in the video, but that was, that was, that was second. Third? Oh, it's hard to name third. First and second were easy. There were a bunch of thirds. I think there's like four or five things that tied for third. And uh, my friend Haley came out. She lives out there in Michigan now. You guys may remember her from a video we did previously uh, on the channel where we went out with her to locate rattlesnakes for her rattlesnake research. And uh, apparently that video that we did back then is now playing on like regular cable TV in Africa. <laughs> I guess I found out. So she came out and she got to sit down and talk with Garrett, who also came out, of course, from Reach Out Reptiles. And Garrett and I did a Searchables Reptiles podcast with Brian while we were there. That was also awesome. Brian went super deep on uh, how he's battled through his anxiety. And I think that that will be coming out next month. And there was so much good stuff from his personal experience that I think that he could bring out for other people to kind of help folks that are going through stuff like that, especially in these sides. Even if you're not like somebody that's actually dealt with anxiety, as we've talked about here on the channel before when Hillary was going through it, uh, he went through it hard, like for a long time. And it's, this was the second time in his life when he had like a huge battle with it. And just to see how he was able to push through it. Anyway, you can watch on the podcast. He, he dives super deep into the, into the topic. And uh, like I said, lots of good information, I think, for anybody that needs help with stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, Garrett and Haley. 
I knew that when they were both coming, when I found they were both coming, like I need to get these two talking. And sure enough, like I, I sat there, I was like, yeah, this is Haley. And they came and started talking about, you know, the scientific stuff that's kind of like above my pay grade. And and like the first first couple minutes, I was like, yep, 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 this is yep, yep, okay, good. And I walked away, and, I, and the conversation they had, they both told me afterwards. Well, Garrett Garrett in particular was like, dude, probably the best like reptile conversation I've had like in a long time so that was like a kind of a highlight for me really getting those two people together and because I know he was super excited to see her on that rattlesnake video and then you know Jay Jay Brian's Brian's freaking right hand man over there at the reptarium was super awesome Lori got to like feel like I actually became friends with Lori this time she's if you guys haven't met Lori Barczyk in person she's somewhat of an intimidating character she just doesn't like she's she's no bs she uh she doesn't, she's not there to like please you or make you make you feel good about yourself necessarily. She's just like, she's just herself, and it can be intimidating. I was intimidated the first time I met her, but uh, I feel like we got to know each other a little better this trip, which which was definitely one of the highlights. That I might even put that one like right up there with the anaconda and the alligator. To be honest, it was, it felt really good to uh, to bond with her a little bit more. Ooh, after the first day, the Saturday night, we went back to Brian's house, had some dinner there, got some Thai food. Some of the best Thai food I've ever had, by the way. Green curry with some scallops and some rice. And, it, and they were, the bar checks were so welcoming and inviting. Noah busted out some stogies. And it was just like, welcome everybody to the home. Like, they're so, they're so hospitable and so humble and so just, it's, it's such a great, beautiful thing, a great friendship that I found in these, in these people. But Brian has a, a brand new like sauna thing in his backyard, like a big, you know, outdoor, you sit in the sauna, sweat your ass off. And then right outside the sauna, he's got a cold tub where it gets down to like 46 degrees. So you sit in the sauna for like 15 minutes and go down in the cold tub. And I am holding the record currently. Lori thinks she's gonna beat it. I think that Lori could beat it. I was in the cold tub after for four minutes and 20 seconds. Garrett was sitting there timing it. And it made me go into this like forced breathing, like <sighs> like after about two, two minutes and 15 seconds, I think is when that started. And I, I just felt like I had to breathe like that to survive, like just to live. Just to, and but I made it. I hit the timer, and so current timer at the cold tub at the bar checks place is four minutes and twenty seconds. Somebody's got to beat the record, and then maybe I'll step in and, and beat it afterwards. But it made me realize that I need something like that because our 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 uh, our sauna here at our local health club that I belong to has been shut down since all the COVID stuff, and that's like the, one of the biggest reasons I went there was use that sauna. But I'd never really done it in in tandem with the cold tub other than experience up in Washington where I'm all over the place guys I'm still excited I'm like, <laughs> like I said I'm just like all over the place uh, still super like we're just winding down with the trip that's why I thought it was a good time to sit down and do this anyway one time I sat in these hot springs up in Washington State at the, at the Olympic National Park and jumped into some fresh spring melt coming down off Mount Olympus that's the closest experience I've ever had before to what we did at, at Brian's that night hey Noah what you do? come on over here, bud? Uh, good times abound. Good times abound. I'm mean, just the, there's so much I could say to you guys about how how awesome an experience it was and and how great it was to like link up with all those people and, and great folks and um, I mean I I wish I could shout out every single person I met. I felt like I met so many people just in the last couple of days, which is how it goes. It was almost like a little mini reptile show. Um, you know, <laughs> don't fall. What do you know? I know the great big hawk of a Tascadero. The great big hawk of a Tascadero? What about the great big hawk of a Tascadero? That it's been roaming around our house and it's been hunting our chickens. And uh -oh. it's, it's the biggest hawk you've ever seen. Its wings are probably this wide when it's opening them. Maybe even bigger than that. It's huge. So it hasn't attacked any of the chickens, has it? Nope. That's but good. it keeps circling around our house. That's not good. Yeah, we had a raccoon last week, our first raccoon. Luckily, our coop is nice and sturdy. So the, the predators are start, starting to be aware that we've got potential food for them, bud. So yeah, I'm glad you're out here keeping your chickens safe. Which Noah is definitely the man behind the chickens. So he, he's, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Those, those are your chickens more than anybody else's, I would say. You take the most care of them. This is a interesting place you've chosen to perch today, my friend. <laughs> how excited are you to see? How, how excited are you to see that anaconda footage, bud? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, I didn't see the footage, but I just saw you 
in it on FaceTime. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, so when I got in with the anaconda, right right at that moment, like right the as The anaconda she, water bath. Yeah, the anaconda water bath. Uh, Ivy was co- starting to come right at me, just like Ryan said she might. And like, and right then, Hillary called me, and Leia was missing me and crying on FaceTime. <laughs> so like, I was trying to calm her down on FaceTime while an anaconda is coming right at my face in the pond. <laughs> But that, I showed Leia the anaconda coming at me, and it, she's like, what? Anyway, I, I got video of all that stuff, and it's coming up on the future videos. In the next two videos, they're going to be badass. So the, video one is going to be all the coolest things to do at the Reptarium. And then video number two is going to be like a kind of a snake bites. Remember, going back to the snake bites days, trying to get bit by every snake at BHB, which <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, thank you for joining us for our Cusco One Cut, and looking forward to many more videos coming out as we keep doing them. We're not going to stop. <laughs> Cusco One Cut's really short. Uh, well, it's just, it's short to edit because we don't have to edit anything. We just put in the music, upload it, and we're out. Aloha, friends and family. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next Reptarian videos, which are going to be awesome. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.